It's Thursday and today's topic, I want to talk about the premise of leading through principles. Now, this was something that I learned early, pretty early on within my leadership journey. I went from, of course, a first line sales leader to a VP of sales at a publicly traded company. And I came to really learn and unpack the importance of leading through principles and values. And I learned a lot about this through a book called Amp It Up by Frank Slootman, who's the CEO of Snowflake, one of the most successful software companies on the planet. And Frank talks a lot about this premise of really having a, a value set and then really using that to drive accountability within your organization. And so as I read through this, I really took the time to really work on, well, what are my individual principles as a man, as a person myself, but then really what are the values and the principles that I want to ensure that my team have so that really that can act as a compass whenever we're either in challenging times or whenever someone needs a better steer on where they need to go or how they need to act or how they need to behave. So the, the more well thought through these principles and these values were, what I found is that it created great momentum and groundswell within the team. Because whenever we were in a situation where someone was having to think about, well, this is a challenge, how do I approach it? We would be able to pivot back to our values and say, well, actually, as a team, this is how we think. This is how we act. This is how we operate. So when you're in this situation, you quickly pivot to the value set and you can see how incredibly powerful that can be. Not only that, what I also observed is within the team themselves, you would see how other people would hold themselves accountable basically hold the other members of their team accountable, I should say, based on those values and on those principles. And so it creates this environment as to whether you're there or not, whether you're actually present or not, people start to again think, act and behave and operate based on this values and these principle set that you have created. And it's so incredibly important and incredibly powerful that as a sales leader, you take the time to do this. I actually don't see enough sales leaders doing this I see that they maybe just rely on the values and the principles that their company has set and then they just adhere to that and leverage that to drive forward. But what I would encourage is you need a set of values and principles specifically for your team, right? You're an individual sales leader. You're going to have your own way of doing things. You're also going to have your own hiring criteria. You're going to have a certain perspective and view on the type of team dynamic that you want to build and cultivate. And as much as you want to also do that within the realms of your business, there's going to be uniqueness to that. And you need to represent that within the principles and the value set that you have so that you can really build a team that is based on the way that, you know, the, the types of behaviors that you want to attract, the type of candidates that you want to attract and the type of characteristics that you really want to attract in a person. And so take a moment to, to really just sit and write out your, your individual principles, morals, standards as a person. And then also take time to then write out the same with your team. Discuss that with other people. Get some input. Speak to others in the organization. Refine it. And then work to slowly implement that within your team. Set a standard. And don't be afraid to evolve it and adjust it over time if necessary as well. Do leave me a comment in the comment section below to let me know what some of your values and principles are. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.